Good morning, folks. We've had a slightly calmer day, but space weather is expected to ramp back up soon. Top news and weather coming as well, but let's first go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day of our star in 193 angstroms, relatively calm. No big flashes, no large particle ejections visible, dark coronal hole, positive northern fields. The number one solar feature of note is the plasma filament coming in right behind the coronal hole. He's in Earth-facing position for at least two days or so. We'll be watching for an eruption if it destabilizes. Solar flaring, even more pitiful than it was before, heading down to explore A range on the X-ray output. Sunspots aren't looking too promising at the moment either. One incomer. But remember yesterday's full solar sphere analysis. We started at zero and to see what's coming we turned. Bright active regions incoming just behind the limb out of view, and actually they're not totally out of view because you can see their tall looping umbral magnetic fields towering over the eastern limb on both the north and the south. Solar wind, slightly above average intensity this morning, but nothing major, and the steadiness of the stream has Earth's magnetic field doing A-OK -okay this morning, not even a hint of instability. But that should change sometime before tomorrow night as the big coronal hole here has set its stream our way, and now... We wait for impact. Geomagnetic storms are definitely possible. Last of the earthquake shaking appears to be coming as well. That usually stops before the stream impacts. Ecuador aftershocks continue with major food and aid shortages there. One near Easter Island too, which sometimes heralds more to come for Chile. Top article today is Hubble's glance inside the bubble nebula. A massive star is inflating the sphere, which collides hydrogen gas and more with colder particles around it. Blue for oxygen green for hydrogen, red for nitrogen. Here are the March global temperatures, last throes of El Nino heat and the return to back and forth, both hot and cold extremes. Eyes on that solar filament today for a possible eruption, solar wind stream from the coronal holes expected within 36 hours. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 3 a.m. in the desert. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.